Now our Charles Benson just got to the scene of that incident we told you about in McGovern Park. We're going to go live now. Right now a news conference is going on. Let's take a listen. Were you called to the scene? You know, I don't know exactly. Probably about a 45 minutes to an hour ago. Uh, Chief uh, Gallo, we are just joined now live on today's TMJ4. Can you give us an update again on what you have found and what called you here? Sure. We've got uh, significantly decomposed human remains found on the island here at McGovern Park. A USDA worker was in the process of spreading, uh, treating goose eggs when he discovered in a very wooded, uh, roughly covered uh, island area here in McGovern Park. Based on your brief uh, review of things right now, the idea of how long this body might have been there, your best guess? Oh, it's months and months, uh, months minimum. Uh, and this body, though, was discovered in a wooded area on the island? Is That's correct. A small island? Very, very, very densely wooded and brushy, and uh, it's, not, it's not a large island at all, uh, 60, 70 feet around. Okay, obviously, it's still very early in the process, but any reason to suspect foul play at this point? Or is yeah, there's th absolutely nothing's known on that uh, at this time. Uh, the preliminary investigation and observations were made by the police. I won't comment on what they found, but... Uh, it, there's absolutely no indications whatsoever at this time, cause of death. Identification on the man? At, at, not at this time. Um, you know, the body was left undisturbed so that a, a complete and comprehensive investigation could be undertaken. Um, the medical examiners notified this is a matter of routine in cases like this, and uh, the police sergeant on scene has notified uh, their criminal investigation bureau and they'll initiate their process. But you can't tell if it's a man or a woman? Uh, no, that would be unable to uh, unable to determine at this time. Or any clothing or any article. There is some clothing remains there. Uh, there's some jewelry remaining there and and uh, things of that nature. Jewelry, jewelry that would indicate male or female. Uh, it, uh, unknown. Yeah, unknown. Okay. Anything else found with the body? Uh, at this time, uh, no. Uh, again, uh, not a whole lot of close contact was had. It, it was uh, it was observed so that it could be confirmed. And then uh, we backed away so that police can do their investigation without any disruption. Your work is done. Well, you know, the dive team is here providing uh, a boat to shuttle back and forth from shore to the island. And uh, so we'll remain for that purpose as, as long as needed. Okay, but the investigation is continuing. Absolutely. Yeah, it'll be a long, long running investigation, I'm sure. Thank you very much. You're Thank welcome. You. You're welcome. All right. Thank you, sir. Is that it? Yeah. And uh, that's the situation here, uh, Mike and Carol, that uh, there's a person here with the USDA Wildlife Service. Uh, they're the ones that were working in that area, doing some work with geese, and that's when they discovered these human remains. Uh, police are now on the scene here. We have not been able to get an update from them, but obviously now some sort of investigation as to these human remains um, and how long this has been going on, how long that person might have been there and uh, so they're at the beginning of this investigation. Mike and Carol? Yeah, too early to tell if there is foul play and in fact the chief who did a nice job briefing us really wasn't able to determine if it was uh, even a male or a female just based on how long it had been out there, Charles. Right, and this, uh, it, just observing this area, uh, if uh, Jeff you can move into that particular direction and you can see where the uh, fire department is right now. You can see the lagoon area there, but also that island. And that is uh, the particular area where the remains were found. And uh, as he says, left there undisturbed and police around the scene to try to figure out what to do next. And the fact that they did find clothing and jewelry probably will give the authorities some right. leads. Charles right. Benson joining us live. We, of course, will update you on the story throughout the evening.